Hello again. Um, I've called this video straight spirals simply because I don't know any <coughs> um, name for them. Um, they go back again like all of the designs I'm showing you uh, since uh, time immemorial. So a straight spiral is a spiral with squares with straight sides like that obviously. But uh, the one I'm going to show you uh, will fit into any geometric shape. So let's start off with a square. Here's a square. Okay, I mean you can do this with drawing instruments but um, it will take you a lot longer. Now, go from a corner and angle in a little way to intersect with that side there, the top side. And then the next one goes across to intersect there. This is so childishly simple that even an adult can do it. So the next one comes there. And the next one will go to there. The interesting thing comes when these are linked together. So we continue to do this until uh, until we've got uh, the whole square filled in. Now an interesting thing starts to happen as you're doing this and the further I go into it, the more you'll see that there is a line coming in this way, a curved line, making a spiral of its own. So you're getting a sort of double spiral. Okay. Now, see, it's starting to look more interesting now, isn't it? coming in. You can see those spirals coming in now. We'll get four of them, of course, because it's a square. Uh, sorry, this is taking a long time. So I'm just doing it quickly and crudely. You will, of course, do it a lot more. Uh, a lot better than I'm doing it. So this is a square spiral, just inside a, a square. So there, that's interesting. Look, look how that curves in there, four of those. Lovely. And um, if we, let's do it in a, a, a triangle. You can do it in anything, a, a triangle, a hexagon, um, even a circle. They'd probably look a lot better with drawing instruments, but it would take me forever. Well, not forever, it would take me quite a while to do it with drawing instruments. It's like the Celtic design ones that you might have looked at. Um, so I've done... You can do them much quicker freehand. And in my view, they, they uh, a lot of these designs look better for you. So, oh, that's gone off centre a bit, but um, you get the idea. Um, if you look at, uh, let's just do a quick circle here. If I do this, and then I do this, we're doing exactly the same thing, aren't we? going down like that and then um, I don't know maybe like that maybe a 
across there. Now, what have we got there? We've got something very similar to um, uh, Macintosh's rose patterns that you see um, quite often. They're very simple to do. There's also a bud pattern that you can do, which I quite like. So we simply do a bud shape, divide it at the bottom, like that. Then from the side here, we'll take a line up to there, slightly curving as we reach the outside. Another one like that. Another one like that, another one like that, maybe another one like that. But I find that quite pleasing, the same principle as these. So, you know, you can make that into some sort of plant now, can't you? Um, <coughs> so now what I'm going to do is to show you what happens when we put these into a, um, a a grid of some sort so we could make a triangular grid or a square grid or a hexagonal grid um, or even a random grid so um, let's see what happens shall we okay um, I've just drawn this grid. It's a simple square grid which has been turned at uh, 45 degrees just to make it a bit more interesting. And now all I've got to do is to put one of these square spirals in each of the squares. Well, that's a lot of work and frankly, I can't be bothered to do it. Um, those of you who have been looking at my uh, Celtic design tutorials, um, particularly the uh, Celtic cross one will know that I have a magic fairy who I employ to uh, do this sort of thing for me so um, I will just uh, call her over and, and get her to do that for me now are you ready magic fairy okay so let's go Oh, well done, Magic Fairy. That's saved me a huge amount of work. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, the interesting thing um, with this pattern, isn't it? I mean, first of all, you've got the these spirals that, that happen all on their own as you, as you draw them, as you draw the... you don't expect them to occur. And then um, when you put them together, you get these interesting tube shapes, which seem to link together across the thing totally unexpected um, so there we are um, that's what it's like putting them all together now perhaps um, we could try some uh, equilateral triangles so so if we have um, six equilateral triangles in a hexagon let's see what happens there um, if the magic fairy is up for it so um, magic fairy w would you like to um, just make this disappear and uh, perhaps uh, bring, bring in uh, six equilateral triangles in a hexagon? How, how do you feel about that? Okay. Good. Right. Um, here we go. Well, thank you again, Magic Fairy, for uh, doing this for us. I understand you used um, a ruler for this one rather than the other one which you did freehand. Is that right? Yes. Good. Um, <coughs> incidentally, when you do these designs in pencil, always uh, take a 
a piece of paper and put it under your, your hand to protect it because it's very easy to smudge the pencil, particularly on dense designs like the last one. Um, <clears throat> you've got these interesting tube shapes occurring again, so this um, hexagonal design uh, can be extended into a, a tile pattern like the the last one and you'll get uh, rather sort of distorted tubes. So what else am I going to tell you? Um, I think that's probably all for now. I'm worried about your attention span so um, let's leave it at that and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching. Bye bye. Thank you.